Hey everyone, it's Kelly here, and today I wanted to share with you how I make photo collages using the Lightroom print module. It's actually one of my very favorite things about Lightroom. It's just super easy to add cells and add photos, so um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you kind of start to finish how I'm going to do it. And this is the uh, photo collage that we're going to end up with. I'm just going to come over here and hit click clear layout so I can show you how I do it. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is come over here into the page setup area and I'm going to choose US letter borderless and I'm going to make sure I have this landscape option selected as well. I'm going to say OK. So the collage that I want to make is going to be for a um, project that I'm making for my 6x8 Project Life album. So my finish size is going to be 6x8 but my printer paper is eight and a half by 11, so that's why I chose that page size. Okay, so next I'm gonna come up here. I have the custom package selected in this layout style. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the photo border for now. In the ruler units, I have set up um, in inches. That's what's most comfortable for me, but there are other options here as well. And for the guides, I'm going to go ahead and use the ruler in the page grid. The ruler is here along the top uh, top side and left side of the page. And then this light blue is the uh, grid. And I like to have that on as well. Okay, so here in this cells group, um, you can see that there are several different sizes here. There are also other sizes within, of the, within each one of these little drop downs. I like to have the 4x6, 4x3, and 2x3 available because they're sizes that I come back to over and over. Um, but the great thing is um, we can just start with one of these sizes and then create our own. So let me show you real quick. I'm going to select this 2x3 size. Now, uh, for the photo collage that I showed you before, I had three rows of cells. And so for a page size that is eight inches tall, that means that my cell height needs to be 2.67 inches tall. So you can either adjust it using this slider or you can just click here in this cell and type it out, which is what I'm going to do. And then the width is going to be three inches. So I'm just going to hit enter on my keyboard and that's going to go ahead and change that. But what I can also do is I can come over here and drop down with one of these arrows and I can create a custom size. So once again, if I choose the height of 2.67 inches and then 3 inches tall, now when I say add, it's going to add that cell size again. But notice it's here in this, drop, in this um, custom cell size. So if I click it two more times, then I can go ahead and drag this cell down here along the bottom of the page. Now notice up here towards uh, the top, where is that? Uh, in the grid snap, um, you see that I have it where it's snapping to cell. So that means wherever I move this cell, when I get it close, it's going to snap in tight next to the cell next to it. Um, you can also have the grid snap to the uh, page grid, but because I want my cells to be side by side, I'm using that cells option. Okay, so next row is going to be some vertical orientation, and I want that to be 2 inches wide by 2.67 inches tall. So if I come back down here to this uh, custom size and I edit it and I put 2 into the width and I say add, notice now I've got a new cell height here, or a new cell width of 2 inches. I can just click on that two more times and then just drag that into place. Okay, perfect. Let me go ahead and just tighten that up. So notice that my um, uh, collage now is six inches wide by eight inches tall. Okay, let me go ahead and just straighten that up a little bit and, you know, make sure all of my cells are aligned, which they are. And so now to populate the cells, all I have to do is drag and drop these cells from my film strip here into uh, the cells. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, drag these up here. If I hold down the command key on my keyboard, it would be control on a PC. You can uh, slide them side to side when you see this little hand here. And that lets you kind of compose it inside that cell. If it's not, um, if you don't, you don't have to have it cropped that way. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then uh, maybe just add this cell here. Just pop these in really quickly. You can see how easy it is to do that. 
And I'm just playing around a little bit and getting them kind of lined up in those cells the way I like it. Yeah, that'll work. There, great. Okay, oh, it looks like these cells need to come up just a little bit higher. Make sure they're all touching. Okay, now that looks great. Okay, so the next thing that I can do is I can come up here and add a photo border around the cells. So I think uh, three points makes for a nice uh, uh, border size on this six by eight, um, you know, uh, collage size. If you were doing an eight and a half by 11 or an eight by 10, you might wanna uh, bump that up just a little bit, but I like three points for this size. Okay, so coming back over to this right hand side, um, I want to make sure that I have the cut guides turned off for this because if I have them on, you might not be able to see it, but there's a very light, uh, fine gray line in between each of the cells, and then it will also print that whenever I go to send it through to my printer. So I'm going to make sure I have that turned off. And then here in this print job group, I want to make sure that I have it set to the printer versus a JPEG file. Um, I keep my print resolution at 300 for prints like this. Um, print sharpening, um, I choose the standard. That works fine for me. And then because my photo paper is glossy, I'm gonna go ahead and choose this glossy option. So that's how quick and easy it is to create photo collages. I absolutely love to do it in Lightroom versus Photoshop. Um, it just it just makes it really really simple. Um, the other great thing about a template like this is that you can uh, save this to use over and over. So if I come over here to the template browser. I can add a new one. So in this folder I have called scrapbook templates, I can go ahead and give it a name. So for instance, if I say six by eight, um, seven photo collage, and I say create, you can see here I've got a seven photo collage template now and I can reuse that over and over and over. And then if you see up here in this preview window, you can see what that looks like. So anyway, it's super easy to make these, like I said, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, also, thanks for watching. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. So I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, I'll see you next time.